In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Open Daylight on a Docker container in GNS3 and integrate Open Daylight with OpenFlow switches all running in Docker containers in GNS3. In a previous video, I showed you how to get an Ubuntu Docker container running within GNS3. So under GNS3 preferences, we can see that a Docker container exists for Ubuntu. Please see the link below if you wanna see how to get the Ubuntu container running in GNS3. So what I'll do now is drag an Ubuntu container to the GNS3 workspace. I'll connect it to an ethernet hub. And all this is doing is providing IP connectivity to a NAT cloud, as well as to other devices in the management network. I'll also drag a Firefox host into the topology. I'm gonna to use that to give us a graphical user interface to the open daylight controller running on the Docker container. So I'll cable up the network as follows. You could use an ethernet switch rather than a hub or use a more complex device here if you want to. But what's important is that we have open flow switches which will connect to our topology. So I'm gonna connect these two open flow switches on their management ports or ethernet zero ports to the hub. And then I'll connect them to each other. So as a first step, we'll edit the config of the Ubuntu server. I'm gonna remove the comments on these two lines and save the file. So what I'll do is start up all the devices and open up a console to the Ubuntu server. We can see here that the server was requesting an IP address and has received one. So ifconfig shows us the IP address of the Ubuntu server. I'll also open up a console to the Firefox PC. That's already booted. I'll open up a terminal and use ifconfig to check whether it got an IP address and it did. So this is the IP address of the Ubuntu server and we should be able to ping that from the Firefox PC, which we can. I'll also open up a console to the two open vSwitch switches and they should also have got an IP address. So I have config eth0. Now the first one didn't get an IP address and neither did the second one. So what I'll do is shut these down. and I'll edit the config. I also need to remove these comments on both switches. So right click on the switch, edit config, and remove the comments for these two lines because we want the switches to receive IP addresses through DHCP. I'll start them up again and open up a console on both switches. So I have config now, and let's do that for ETH0 again. The switch has received an IP address, and so has the switch. So let's confirm that both of them can ping the Ubuntu server. First switch can, 
second switch can. Now we have a loop in this topology, so what we should do is enable spanning tree on the two open V switch switches. So the command to do that is OVS VSCTL or OVS VS Kettle if you prefer. Set bridge BR0 STP enable true. Now in a previous video, which I've linked below, I'll show you how to configure these open flow switches. But as an example, OVS VSCTL show shows me information about the switch, including the bridges available on the switch. BR0 is the open flow bridge that we're concerned with. The command OVS OF CTL hyphen O open flow one three dump flows BR0 shows us the flows available on the open flow table. At the moment, all traffic is going to the normal port. So we need to enable spanning tree to stop a loop in our topology. So we've got the basics of the network configured. Now let's install Open Daylight on the controller and then integrate the switches with the controller. I wanna thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.